Yeah. Well, what is up, YouTube? This is your boy, Derek, and today I'm going to do a movie review on Captain America 2011. Alright, so, you know, Captain America, the first Avenger. Let me just say this, alright? Very good movie, alright? I mean, it is better than... The 1979 movies, the two 1979 movies, all right? And it's on par with the 90s movie, Captain America. But, um, yeah, let me just say this. Uh, you know, the visuals was good. The cinematography was good, all right? Um, the special effects was good. The music was good. Um, the dialogue was good. Everything about this movie was good, all right? And there, not that my ad not add that there's action scenes in this movie, all right? There was some good action scenes in this movie, all right? And it's just badass. And, you know, I'm not going to really review the movie because, you know, everybody reviewed it and their mother... Alright, but how did I get to see it? I got to see it on Thursday night, uh, 12 o'clock showing at uh, AMC 18. Well, you know, how I feel about the movie, it's pretty good, alright? And, you know, what else was I going to say? I forgot. Um, Chris Evans is pretty good as uh, Steve Rogers. A.K.A. Captain America. He, he played the role pretty good. Or he played the role good. And who stole the show for me in this movie was Tommy Lee Jones. All right. Tommy Lee Jones. I mean, Tommy Lee Jones is just a shit, man. All right. I mean, he's like Anthony Hopkins in Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's how awesome it is. And it, this movie does feel like Bram Stoker's Dracula a little bit. Alright. And, you know, it's badass, man. And, you know, there were certain scenes in the movie where you felt like you were in the movie. Really. Like, I thought I was there with Cap kicking ass. By his side. Like, I thought I was with him. And I thought the, the bad guys was going to come at me out of the screen. No, I didn't see this in 3D. I saw this in 2D, but still. You know, I thought the bad guys was going to jump out of the screen and kick my ass, but no. You know, that's how real this movie felt, all right? No lie, all right? And not only that, um... I mean, when this movie comes out on DVD, I'm going to get it, all right? I'm going to get it. And I'm going to enjoy the special features on the DVD or Blu-ray. Even though I made a rant on Blu-ray, but I might rent the Blu-ray at Blockbuster and get the DVD. Um, let's see. You know, um, how to compare this to another movie, alright? You know, what's up there with Batman and Batman Returns. For me, that is. For me. And the Rocketeer. And the Rocketeer as well. Alright? I mean, it's by this guy named Joe Johnson. Or something like that. But, um... Yeah, pretty good movie. But, um... You know what I felt ruined the movie a little bit? Trying to... Catch up with the Avengers movie, really. I mean, it just looks like this Avengers movie is going to be alright, but... For them to talk talk about it in Iron Man and Iron Man 2 and, and Incredible Hulk and, you know, other movies like that, really. But... Red Skull... Red Skull is badass in this. At least he wasn't... Uh, lame like the Red Skull in the 90s film. That Red Skull was fucking lame, alright? And, you know, it's, it's not lame. It's awesome. And people were complaining about the costume. What, why are you complaining? 
Why? Just because he doesn't have the original um, outfit with um, the ears on the mask? I mean, not the ears. I mean, the, the wings on the mask. Really? Um, I should say this mask looks more badass. It's metal. It's a helmet. And thus the fact that his shield is metal, too. And, you know, you got Cap kicking ass in this movie like he should have did in the 90s movie, but... Well, that was more um, Steve uh, Rogers in that movie, really. But, um... You know, I give this movie a 5 out of 5. That's how good it was. And this is the original classic Marvel movie. Really, I'm not lying. This is like an original Marvel movie next to X-Men, um, Blade and Blade 2, and Iron Man. Alright. And, you know, basically that's about it. And I wanted to make my rant on Thor. And let me just say something about that. I told you Captain America would be better than Thor. Alright, I don't have a problem with Thor. Thor was... Alright, it was okay, but come on, at least this movie was better than Thor. Thor was enjoyable, but for me, not really. It was alright, but I mean, I felt that Thor could have been more better, though. I mean, come on, but him just having a beard through the whole movie and no helmet... I mean, as you can see, Thor in the comics never had a beard. He would always have his helmet on. No matter what, he would always have his helmet on. And his uh, outfit as well. But, um... You know... I knew that Thor was not going to be that great, to be honest with you. I knew that Thor was not going to be that great. And, you know... For them to make the villain uh, Loki, all right, Loki. I mean, they could have made the villain um, one of the ice people, all right. But no, they went with Loki, all right. That's what this movie. Um, that's what made it fail was Loki. All right, but let me just say this: Red Skull is better than Loki. He's a better vi villain than Loki, and. Captain America movie. Alright. So, what do I say about Captain America? It kicks Thor's ass. I'm sorry. It kicks Thor's ass. Alright. This was, overall, a better movie. Uh, they took their time making this movie. They didn't rush it like Thor. D Thor, they rushed the hell out of. Alright. But... You know, Thor, for me, gets probably a 3 out of 5. Just because I liked it Asgard, alright? I liked it as the look of Asgard. And I think if they would have kept the movie in Asgard, it would have been a better movie, but they put it in, you know, this world, you know? It was like half and half, but whatever, alright? So yeah, that's my movie review for Captain America and basically a rant about Thor. Welp, alright, I'm out, I'm out.